And I'm Nate behind the camera. And we are the RC Sailors. Oh my goodness, I'm in front of the camera to start a video. This is crazy. It's been like a year or more. I don't know. <laughs> we decided to do this video because we were super impressed with this plane. This is the Horizon Hobby Carbon Cub S Plus with the safe, tech safe technology. This comes ready to fly right around $260. If you missed our first review video or whatever you want to call it of Nate flying and the footage you saw of the drone chase that Nate was flying the drone and I was flying the plane and a lot of you guys wanted to see me fly the plane <laughs> and see what my take on this plane was. So I'm going to get it in the air for you guys. Probably fly it mostly on the beginner and intermediate mode just because it's been a while since I've had a plane in the air, I like this one and I don't want to crash it. Although it's going to be super hard to crash this because if I put it in the advanced mode and feel like I lose control, I can easily flip it back to beginner and say it's upside down, then boom, it's going to stabilize again. So that's what's really cool about this plane. Back when Nate first introduced me to planes, he got me a plane with flight stabilization and it was over $400 ready to fly. This comes in at 260. It blows my mind. So anyways, enough talking. Let's get this in the air. You wanna start with the nose of the plane facing into the wind. So as long as you can feel the wind on your face, that's where you wanna put the face of the plane. And then you start by holding the bind button. I, left. I go in pretty good detail of how to get this in the air for your first time in, in uh, the other video we did of this. So if, if you feel like something's missing, you can check that video out. And you saw it twitch there, and that means... It's ready to go. It's ready to go. Yeah. Does that set the... That sets the orientation for the landing. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Because this auto lands. Yes. So all I'm going to do on my takeoff, I'm going to put it in beginner and then switch up to a higher rate. Okay. And make sure you unlock. Yep. Then the back right switch, switch is yes. arm disarm. It's marked beautifully. Yes. So it's arm. Throttle up. I have throttle. So all I'm going to do is give it throttle and just barely any elevator. Barely any. You can do this without any, but I want to have a better takeoff look. <laughs> so I'm going to give it some elevator. Full throttle just about. And look how easy that was. Nate, you might have to darken it up. <laughs> And do your best to fly a little lower with this. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm one of the people that I fly high a lot. So that was going to be my goal for this flight was to try to fly at a decent height for you guys. <laughs> so this is just the beginner flight mode that I'm in. It doesn't give you a lot of control at all, but the good thing, that's a good thing for beginners because I can hit all the way to the right and it, as soon as I let off, boom, it's back. And the coolest thing about this plane, if you missed our last video, is in this beginner mode, it has a fence. A geofence, they call it. A geofence, always reminds me of geocaching. <laughs> so I'll show you guys that. Basically, we're gonna fly out here, and when I hit a certain point, I can't remember the distance, it's gonna take over and turn around. The profile of it's hard to see right now, so we need a better zoom there lens there. Turn around, and then it's gonna shake its wings back and forth, and that means you're in control again. Very Isn't nice. Isn't that cool? I mean, it'll do that everywhere. We'll do it over here one time, too. I wanna to point out, too, while it's doing this, that Abby is actually talking during this video, <laughs> which means her confidence- Shake, shake, shake. Is there and she's okay. able able to fly this with enough confidence so to that talk. Got me, as soon as it turns it gains altitude so I need to get it lowered again for you all. Explain how you might do that. To how to lower the plane? Sure. Well you probably want to back off on the throttle a little bit mm -hmm. and then with me <laughs> I am just gonna barely push down. It's gonna take a while in beginner mode. If actually it give you a lot of Throws. In the beginner mode, you can push nose down pretty hard and it doesn't descend right. very steep at all. See, now that's at a pretty good level. And that was a very smooth descent, not a drastic descent at all, where it kind of like makes your heart go into your throat. I've <laughs> had those moments a lot. That's what I like about this plane. Um, 
it gives you confidence. Now, I would not go from this plane in beginner mode to a plane without anything. That would be terrible because the first thing you would do is give it too much aileron and you would spiral to your death. That is my phone. That's your phone. There we go. So and what and the, you the, do, the wind has picked up quite a bit too. It is very windy. It's probably like six mile, seven mile an hour gust right now. And that's kind of a good thing for you guys to see that this is very able to fly in the wind. Right. Um, what you want to do instead of just buying another plane is Use you're going to switch to intermediate. It does look like we need to trim this plane up a little bit because your I'm throttle's too low. Down. It's because your throttle's too uh, low. True. I'll get my throttle. You're at like 40% throttle. So now I have a lot more ability to tilt with the aileron to make those turns. And this is a, well, it's, it's more than four channels. It's a six Oops. plus possibly seven channel plane. So I got behind us. <laughs> so I switched that beginner switch on really quick. That was a bad turn on my part. Hey, don't knock the transmitter out of my hand, cameraman. <laughs> I'm just pivoting. I'm pivoting. That's all. So that one got a little out of control. So that's the cool thing about having this beginner intermediate switch, advanced switch, is when you lose your confidence, just switch it really quick and you'll gain control over it. I'd like you to uh, show them that you're able to fly in advanced mode. Yeah. Do a loop yeah. or a roll. See, this is what Nathan does to me. I push her, I push he her to get better. Me, and then if I crash it, then I feel like poop. And <laughs> I don't wanna feel like poop today. You're not gonna crash this one. I don't want to today. I did do a loop while he was chasing my drones and I did a terrible while, roll. While I was chasing with the drone, Thank she you. was flying the plane. That's what I was trying to say. Um, this one. You can do it. Come on. You just throttle up and pull back. You got this. Leave me alone. You can do it. Why do you always do this to me? Because I know you can. You're already like just a tiny speck on the screen. You might as well. You can do I'm it. I'm doing such good circles. Yeah. They're good circles, but you can do rolls and loops all day long. Way better. Come on, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Everyone's cheering for you. Thousands of people watching, they're all cheering. Abby, 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 do a loop, do a loop, Abby. I'll do a loop, but I'm not doing a roll. Okay, I'll take it. So I'm in the advanced mode now. You want to throttle up too. I know how to do a loop, I just don't want to. Here we go. Pretty loop. Ah, uh, nice. Now I'm nice. back to beginner. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna let it turn itself. Now the video just got a thumbs up because you did that loop, but I think people said they would subscribe if you did a roll. No, I'm not doing a roll. They'll turn notifications on if you do a roll. That's what they said, I heard them. They were talking to me while you did that loop. That's what everyone said. I did a roll the other day for that video and you need to trim it up for me. No, I don't. Yes, you do. It doesn't need any trim. Um, for our, our, the way I like to fly, I need some trim. Please. Our camera battery is low. Okay, here. I want to auto land. Okay. So what button do I push? I forget. Just hold the only button on the whole transmitter. How long? Three seconds. One, two, three. See, it got a mind of its own. Now what Abby's doing is walking out on the field. I, I'm gonna follow the plane though. She's wanting to prove to you guys that she's not hitting any buttons. But uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna follow the plane here. It's circling around again, trying to lower itself. No, it's good, I think. It's good. The, we got really close to the building the last time we flew this. A little bit of wind, a little bit of wind, but it's on the ground. Yeah, didn't touch anything. She didn't touch a single control. So that's the first time we've seen the auto land nose down. And that's out of almost 10 landings in the last week, one time. So of course it would happen when I'm flying and we're filming, go figure. But overall, this plane is super impressive. It's, I'm gonna keep it for a long time to help me progress and just practice flying without that just fear and just the adrenaline rush and the pounding of my heart of a 200 some dollar plane in the air. I know that this is going to be one of the most difficult planes in the world to crash. And I can say that without a doubt. So if you have been wanting to get into planes, RC planes, I think this is a great plane for beginners. 
You can get it plug and play. So if you already have your own transmitter and receiver set up, you could use that in here or you can do like what we did and get ready to fly. And all you have to do out of the box is screw on the wings, struts, the tail, and the wheels. Super simple, highly recommend this. With, with Abby, uh, she did build up her confidence and ability to fly. And then I think her confidence was soaring. She crashed a few times and now she's at an like an all time low. I don't low. fly much anymore. So this is going to definitely build her confidence back up. I like trucks and I like drones, okay? <laughs> highly recommend this give this video a thumbs up just because i did a loop for you guys even though i didn't want to uh maybe in future videos you'll see me do rolls but you could go back like three years ago and see me do rolls way better than what i can do rolls now we'll have this linked in the description box below go check this out because it is awesome thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye